If you're wondering what the difference is between big, large, huge, enormous, and giant, you've come to the right place. Let's get started. The terms big, large, huge, enormous, and giant are all adjectives used to describe size. While they all convey a sense of largeness, there are subtle differences in their meanings. Here's a breakdown of the distinctions between these words. Big, big, is a general term used to describe something that is larger than average or has considerable size. It is often used to compare or contrast sizes, but it is not as specific as the other terms. Example, he has a big house. Large, large, typically refers to something that is bigger or greater than what is considered normal or average. It suggests a substantial size. Example, they serve large portions of food. Huge, huge, conveys a sense of immense size or magnitude. It implies something very large, often beyond the normal expectations or significantly larger than average. Example, the elephant is huge. Enormous, enormous, emphasizes the idea of exceptional size or scale. It implies something extraordinarily large, immense, or massive. Example, the skyscraper has an enormous height. Giant, giant, refers to something of extraordinary size or stature, often suggesting a significantly larger size than normal. It can also be used metaphorically to describe something that is outstanding or impressive in its category. Example, the giant redwood trees are majestic. Emphasis and impact, big and large, are relatively neutral terms that simply indicate size, without strong connotations of overwhelming magnitude. Huge and enormous suggest a more impressive and impactful size, often evoking a sense of awe or astonishment. Giant can evoke a sense of grandeur, power, or dominance due to its association with larger-than-life entities or phenomena. Subjectivity. The perception of these terms can vary depending on cultural, regional, or individual perspectives. What may be considered big in one context might be regarded as large or huge in another. It's important to note that the perception of these terms can vary depending on context and individual interpretation. What may be considered big in one context could be enormous in another. The choice of which term to use depends on the desired level of emphasis and the relative size being described. If you found this video interesting, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let us know if we missed anything in the comments section. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future.